One way to measure readability is the Flesh Kincaid grade level. It was developed by an academic and a consultant who are passionate about plain English. Their test uses a formula that includes two aspects of readability, sentence length and word length. In this case, this means the number of syllables in a word. When text is fed into the formula, it provides the required reading ability by education level. Australian newspapers are in the grade 8 to 12 level range. UK government web communications are between grade level 4 and 9. In our communications, we are aiming for grade level 9 to encourage the use of plain language. Most of the time, this allows us to communicate with diverse audiences, including people that may have English as a second language or people who may be encountering a subject for the first time. Sometimes, however, when you are in the business of creating and critiquing knowledge, grade level 9 will not be possible. For example, discipline-specific language may include words with many syllables that cannot be substituted, words like renaissance or biotechnology. These will increase the reading level, but aiming for Flesh Kincaid grade level 9 will still help you weed out language that is unnecessarily complex. The Flesh Kincaid formula is built into Microsoft Word. However, Microsoft Word does not show you how to increase the readability of your text. For this, you can turn to free tools such as the Hemingway Editor, which highlights where you may have used the passive voice, unnecessary words and complex sentences. Hemingway helps you write clearer, plainer language. It's fun and by bringing in an element of objectivity, it makes it easier to collaborate on writing projects. Using plain language in our research communication benefits us in many ways. It helps those outside of the university to connect with us and us with them. It helps one discipline talk to another. It enables more people to access and benefit from our research and facilities. In short, it assists in our historic mission to generate and disperse knowledge for the betterment of humankind or should I say, it allows us to create and share knowledge to help people.